Hello, this is Welsh ASMR 82. Hey, how are you doing? Um, so I am continuing on my journey through North America. I've done previous videos on some strange borders and I've done a couple of states. Uh, I've also done a video on the Midwest but the thing I want to learn a little bit more about today and I'll just put myself more up here so I'm not in the way. I want to learn about the Great Lakes and I think this will help me learn more about oh hello how do you do that i don't know why i did that <laughs> i want to learn more about the great lakes because i really don't know about them and i think it'll help me with this problem that i have that i keep confusing chicago and detroit so if you're from the great lake region which is pretty huge to be honest with you, then drop me a comment, give me a like, and tell me um, how dumb I am and how much I didn't know. <laughs> but I'm trying, okay? Because this dumb Brit really wants to learn a bit more about the big old uh, cousins. That's not just work in a sentence. What am I trying to say? I don't know. I want to learn about America. Okay. So, first of all, stuff I already know. The Great Lakes are on the border between the USA and Canada. Um, quick discretionary note, and you can thank Viscaria ASMR for this name dropping you. Go subscribe to her. She often laughs and then helpfully corrects. <laughs> me when I get stuff wrong on America. Like when I say things silly like when I'm in Florida and I'm like, oh, New England's around here somewhere, right? Or Rochdale is so close to New York and things like that. So um, yeah. So I'm going to say some silly things and pass them off as facts. <laughs> but you're allowed to correct me. It's okay. I want to learn. So there's a border here between Canada and the US and I believe from a previous video that the area around the Great Lakes is considered the Midwest at least the start of it so I think when we did that video the Dakotas were sort of the furthest west of the Midwest maybe Montana had a push but um, certainly Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, maybe Pennsylvania, no, not Pennsylvania, are considered Midwest anyway. I'm not for a second stating that New York State is, um, I've done something again, is Midwest or anything, but you know, I've said weirder things, so why not? Um, Okay, so let's start on the east and work our way west. Oh wow, there's a lot going on here already. Okay, so um, Lake Ontario, some of which is in the US and the rest in Canada, and I think I talked about this in my last video, how close Toronto is to large areas, large cities in the US. So Toronto is here, as is Mississauga, Hamilton, Niagara Falls, oh, that's where you are. I grew up watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, Niagara Falls. Oh, the state 
state line, the country border is here as well. Okay, so Niagara Falls is just off Lake Ontario, as is Toronto, which is hmm. cute. Um, oh, I meant to look at that. Hang on. Which is in Ontario? Yes, Ontario. Now another thing, I'm going to do a video on Canada soon, but. I don't know the difference between Ontario and Ottawa. And I also said in my previous video about states and their provinces in Canada. Please tell me I got it right this time. Okay, so Lake Ontario, Kingston is there, Odessa, oh cool, uh, Prince Edward Belleville, Coburg, Oshawa, probably butchering all these names, um, and then Rochester. No, don't say that. It's on a different lake. Watertown, Pulaski, Oswego, not far from Syracuse. Okay, so that is Lake Ontario, so that's a good start. So we've got Toronto and Lake Ontario, so Toronto is the capital of Canada. I just doubt everything I say now. Toronto, the capital of the province of Ontario, is a major Canadian city alongside Lake Ontario's northwest and shore. Hang on a minute. So if Toronto is a major Canadian city, why isn't it saying it's the capital? Hmm. Can I not, like, go into some sort of Wikipedia thing here? More? dry cleaners. Okay, just leave me a comment and reassure me please, because that's making me doubt myself now. If Ontario is not the capital of Canada, what would be? Oh, hang on, I just saw Ottawa somewhere. <gasps> Ottawa. Ottawa, which is also in Ontario. That's why I was confused. Oh, Ottawa is Canada's capital. Oh my god, every time I do one of these videos, my mind gets blown. In this east of southern Ontario, near the city of Montreal and the US border, sitting on the Ottawa River, it has its centre in Parliament Hill, with grand Victorian architecture and museums, such as the National Gallery of Canada. Okay, I'm going on a little bit of a... I'm procrastinating here, I need to get back on it, so... Ottawa, ladies and gentlemen, is the capital of Canada, and Toronto is not, and it sits on Lake Ontario. Okay, moving on. Lake Erie? 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 Because it's named after Erie? Which looks kind of eerie. Lake Erie sounds like something from Game of Thrones. Um, Buffalo, it looks like a big city in the US, just then here itself, Cleveland, I've heard of Cleveland, and cutely Toledo, you probably pronounce it like Toledo or something, do you? Toledo is just a Spanish city, oh my god, there's another eerie, oh, oh, that's Are there two Erie? I suppose you must have multiple places called Erie. Dundee there. 
Ypsilanti. What? What on earth is Ypsilanti Charter Toop? Oh, Township. Officially the Charter Town. Ypsilanti is a Charter Township. Go to Wikipedia, everyone. In the US, Washington County. Oh, okay, I understand what this is. Um, so Lake Erie also separated halfway through by a border on the Canadian side not as many large commercial centres Leamington is here and Aereo, Raglan Morpeth, Port Glasgow Port Stanley Port Burwell Colburn, Colburn. Okay, so this is probably the quietest of the areas in terms of large commercial centres like Erie. Now I don't know. Oh, Lake Saint Clair. Is this in? Is this classified? It's not classified as a Great Lake, is it? But Detroit is here, and I want to learn more about Detroit. So tough luck. Detroit, in the state of Michigan, is the largest city in the Midwestern state of Michigan, near downtown, the neoclassical Detroit Institute of Arts, is famed for the Detroit industry murals painted by Diego Rivera and inspired by the city's ties to the auto industry, giving its nickname the Motor City. Detroit is also the birthplace of Motown Records, oh is it? Whose chart-topping history is on display at their original headquarters, Hitsville, USA. Mexican town. Windsor Sandwich. West Village, Bell Isle. Riverside, East Windsor. Okay. So I'm not going to do a, a full video or anything on Detroit, but I just want to get enough information that I stop mixing it up with the other place. Which is... which I've lost now. <laughs> So that's Detroit. Oh, Chicago. Yes, that's what I was going to do. Okay. So Detroit is on a lake, but Lake St. Clair, I'm not sure if it's classed as the Great Lakes or anything. I'm guessing no. New Baltimore. Oh, it's nothing to do with Baltimore, probably. Okay. So going north, now we've got another lake which is separated by a border, Lake Huron, Huron, Sarnia, sounds a bit like Narnia, is here. I love zooming in on American cities, look how cause the grid system you guys have got going on, how tidy all your cities are. British cities are just a mess. Roads going everywhere. The St. Clair River seems to join Lake St. Clair 
with this Lake Huron, which is massive. That's, that's still Lake Huron there. Georgian Bay. Georgian Bay. Manitoulin Island. Tobermory. Lion's Head. Weirdon. Owen Sound. Diverton. Blue Mountains. Collingwood. Midland. Nobel. Noble. Pointe au Paris. French rivers, Pre Espanola, Spanish, Corbe, Rogers City, Albana, Maginot City, Beaver Island. Okay, so this looks like it's going into a different one now. So this is Lake Michigan. Hey. Okay, so let's zoom out so I can just get my bearings right. So we've done Lake Ontario, Lake Erie, I did a bonus one of Lake Sinclair, don't know if you can hear the wind outside, it's terrible again, Lake Huron, is there anything up there we're missing? No, this is uh, Hudson Bay, that's a different thing altogether. Okay, two more. Let's do this one first so that I can concentrate. Lake Superior, definitely heard of this before. Salt Stay Marie, was that? Salt Stay Marie is a city in Ontario, Canada, in the St. Mary's River, north of the US border. Near three of the Great Lakes, it's known for the 19th century Salt Stay Marie Canal lined with red sandstone buildings. The art gallery of Algoma showcases works by local, national and international artists. The Canadian Bush Plane Heritage Centre has a collection of aircraft and flight simulators. Cool. Mm, so nice. This is a definitely on my to-do list, everyone. When possible. Okay, let's look at Lake Superior briefly then. So, Batchawana, Agua Bay. So, I'm supposing that these might freeze over at winter. Does that sound right to you? This one's much less... Marathon, um, populous in terms of large commercial and industrial areas. Nipigon Bay, Red Rock, Nipigon, Black Bay, We Met, Dorian Landing, Pearl, Pass Lake, Amethyst Harbor, Sleeping Giant Provincial Park. Book now, Massive Lakefront Park. Oh my word. Wow. Offering year round recreation, an amphitheater, campground, and scenic views. Okay. Isle Royale National Park. Thunder Bay. Shout out to those of you watching in Thunder Bay, Intercity, Fort William, First Nation, Loch Lomond. Uh, I think that's named after somewhere in Scotland, right? The Loch Lomond I know is in the UK, I think. Pie Island, tasty. Crooks Cloud Bay, Grand. Portage, Coville, Grand Marais, Lutzen, Tofte, Schroeder, Little Marais, Dead Gush State Park, Silver Bay, Beaver Bay, East Beaver Bay. Hmm, where are they? Black Beach. And it's actually black. 
Does that mean he's volcanic or something? Beaver Bay, Split Rock Lotion State Park, Castle Danger, sounds exciting. Two Harbors, Last Month, Knife River, Palmer's French River, Lakeside, Leicester Park, and Chester Park. Okay, I'm totally lost now, where are we? So we're at the end of Lake Superior. Okay, so we've gone into the US again. Duluth? Duluth? Humantown? Port Wing, Hoopster, Cornucopia. Oh my god, what a cool name. Cornucopia. Oh yeah, it looks really cool there. In the winter. Cornucopia Beach. I can't believe I just want to travel so bad at the minute. Sisiquit Bay. Where else? Sand Island. Oak Island. Passwood Island. La Pointe. Bayfield looks a bit bigger. Bayfield Maritime Museum, Apostle Island Cruises, Pure Salmo Zoo, the state of Wisconsin, Bayview, Washburn, Parksdale, Ashland. Look how neat that looks. If you want to see a British city, just zoom in and it's a mess. Shequamegan Bay. Definitely mispronounced that. Big Bay State Park on Madeline Island. Porcupine Mountains Wilderness State Park. We miss... No, we just... That was Minnesota. We were in for a brief time then. Wisconsin for a little time and now we're back in Michigan. Ontagon. Ontonagon. How do you Houghton? Houghton? Ripley Hancock. Northern Specialty Health. Don't know why I'm reading that. Oscar, Tamarack, West Tamarack, Centennial, Bumbletown, that sounds so cute, Armeek, Fulton Seneca, Gratiot River Con County Park, you say Country Park, Eagle River, the Jam Pot, Eagle Harbour, Reading out random restaurants now. Copper Harbor Lighthouse. Ooh. Oh man, so cute. Oh, look at that picture. Bet Cris. Gay. Uh, Aura, Zebra, Lance, Powell, Marquette, Amazing, Grand Marais, oh, Paradise, I bet it is, and then the border with Canada again, so that was Lake Superior. Lake Michigan. So we're going to end up in Chicago, right? So Escanaba, Green Bay, De Pair, Ashwaubenon, Ashwaubenon, Puyqueoc, Benderville, Dykesville. So many funny names. 
Swamico, Little Swamico, Pensoki, Oconto, Little Sturgeon, Brussels, Sturgeon Bay, Fish Creek, Ephraim, Gills Rock, Washington Island, Summer Island, Sack Bay, Big Bay de Noc, Manistique, Epouffet, Brayford. God, you can hear the wind, can't you? I mean, in terms of its, like, topography, if that's the right word, it's a really pretty place, isn't it? Look at all the, um... Just level the sort of islands and everything. Sheboygan. Mullet Lake, Bird Lake, Carp Lake, what's this one? Douglas Lake, there's loads of, I say little lakes, but that's, you know, it's probably about the size of Swansea, isn't it? So I've wandered off again, Coburn Island, Meldrum Bay, Elizabeth Bay, Barry Island, Cole Bay, where are we? Oh yeah, we've gone back into Lake Huron, then Lake Superior, okay, so that was the Let's have a look at Petoskey, Conway, Harbour Springs, Stutesmanville, Good Heart, Bayshore, Charlevoix, Boulder Park, Fisherman's Island State Park, Norwood, Eastport, Torch Lake, going into a place called Torch like Sketchamog or something, Rapid City, Angel, Huber, East Arm, Grand Traverse Bay, Acme, Traverse City, Cherry Capital Airport, Traverse City State Park, Elbow Golf Course, Boardman Lake, Shorbuston, Omena, Northport Bay with Northport here, yeah. Lee Leno State Park. Hang on, what? Oh no, it's okay. It's just a road. I thought it was a state line. It's the road 201. Leyland. What lake is that? say. And then going down here, Sleeping Bear, Bear Bay, excuse me, Glen Arbor. So really interesting, Glen Lake, Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore. This place just looks stunning. US $15, what am I paying for? <laughs> Taking your dog for a walk there. Why are you telling me fifteen dollars? Empire. Ash Beach. Got quite lost now. This is so much bigger than I thought. Crystal Downs Country Club. Point Betsy Lights uh, Lighthouse. I mean, that suggests how big the lake is that you need a lighthouse on it. Oh my god, it keeps going. It is so huge. We've only covered like so little of it. I'm gonna have to hurry up. Muskegon, Norton Short, Holland, South Haven, Benton Harbor, Michigan City. 
there'll be lots more like this as I do a video for each state and also I'm going to do some more videos on Canada as they've been requested too so I hope you enjoyed the video more so I hope you're actually asleep and you can't hear me at all so um, yeah we'll speak soon okay take care and um, have a good sleep